The Canadian government has recently granted Lockheed Martin Canada a deal worth up to 1.33 billion US dollars for the ongoing integration of combat systems and support for the Halifax class frigates throughout their operational lifetimes. Glenn Copeland, the general manager of Rotary and Mission Systems at Lockheed Martin Canada, mentioned during a discussion with Breaking Defence on Wednesday that the initial long-term agreement with the company started in 2008 and has now concluded. However, the latest agreement includes options that extend through 2045, the year anticipated for the last frigate to be retired from the Royal Canadian Navy's inventory. As the system's integrator, Lockheed Martin's role is to continuously update the software that operates the combat management system of the fleet. The Halifax-class frigates are the cornerstone of naval operations both domestically and internationally, stated Bill Blair, Canada's Minister of National Defence, during the government's announcement on 31st October this contract for in-service support ensures that our frigates remain operational until the introduction of our future fleet of river-class destroyers, Lockheed Martin's Combat Management System, known as CMA's 330, is installed across the Canadian Navy's fleet. This latest agreement not only highlights the importance of the Halifax class but also addresses the challenges faced by the Royal Canadian Navy's fleet and its Chief of Naval Operations, who has openly acknowledged the difficulties his force is encountering. The Halifax class is recognized as a vital asset for the Royal Canadian Navy's operations. However, with the first of this class entering service in the 1990s and the last one needing to stay operational until the 2040 as the Canadian government is making efforts to extend the service life of these frigates, projecting their retirement in the 2030s. This is a necessary step until the Canadian surface combatant the new warship named the River Class Destroyer is commissioned. This new class of vessel is being constructed by Canada's Irving Shipbuilding, which has outsourced the design to Lockheed Martin, a modification of BAE Systems Type 26 Global Combat Ship. Copeland mentioned that the first three ships are already under contract, with another six expected to follow a decision on full rate production later this year. The first ship is set to be operational in the early 